if you were easily offended by like all of this kind of thing, like the then, transgender like, topic and stuff, then please then don't just go this. away. But if you haven't realized it by now, we are like the most liberal teenagers that you're gonna probably find ever. <laughs> Which is, yeah, just by the way, we're like totally weird people. But this is the kind of families, uh, the kind of family we were lived in. And, ah, words. Okay, we were raised the kind in. Of family and, we were lived in. We nailed it. <laughs> raised in. And this is just who we are. We're just gonna. We're not gonna we be afraid two to like. Really gay people. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Jimmy, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy can leave that in. But I mean, <laughs> well, I'm um, Lith. Did you say Lith? Litho. Litho. But um. Because, no. Wait. like, Button. I get the fact that some people are really attractive, like, hashtag Benedict Cumberbatch, but, like, Cumberbatch. or there are boys that, that <laughs> are there are boys that are cute, but, I mean, like, I have no, oh, sorry, in, <laughs> I, have, I was trying to break the pressure, but you were in the way, I have, like, no interest in really being in a serious relationship for a while, like, because right. I don't understand that at our age, why we would like go through all of that trouble but i feel like at this age we don't need to worry about dating we don't need to worry about like anything because right. we we've, we've got a while i mean it's not like mm -hmm. i mean there are people who are gonna the, there are people who are gonna start dating at this age and they're probably they might marry that person like i know someone who met their now husband when they were in Eighth grade, eighth grade, but oh, really, Ooh. yeah, and that's, that's 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 devotion, man. They dated the entire way through, and I'm like, and that yeah, devotion. But mm. I mean, but most cases aren't gonna be like that. Like I knew the most power. Like I knew this girl, and for the past two years she had been dating the same boy, and everybody's like, oh my god, they're totally gonna get married. OMG, yeah, totally. And then he started being mean and she just ended it. And everyone's like, wait, what? Wait, but what? How did she break up with someone yeah, I know, that was being But this boy her, was like... a total flirt and he totally didn't like respect the fact that she... why can I not break this grass block? But um, uh lag. Yeah. But... There's a lot of just random spots here that like you cannot build is... or break anything. Like, it's really weird. A total flirt, it was I don't know. Uh, but she ended that relationship and everyone was really, like, totally shocked, but I was friends with this girl, like, general friends. We weren't even in the same grade, so, but, um, so, we, I was there with her mother, because her mother is awesome, and she went to, like, every STEM competition and everything, but, so, they were once talking about that, and, um, like, when, after she broke up with him, and she's like, well, I always did say that, even though you've been dating him for a while, th this person that you're dating in middle school is probably not going to be the person that you marry. And oh, yeah. lo and behold, that <laughs> whole thing went spiraling down because he's a total flirt and she like got mad and once and for all just totally stopped. But I mean, like, I don't even remember why exactly the exact reason they broke up was. I think he posted another a picture of another girl on his Instagram or something, and the girl, the, um, the girlfriend, I guess, very respectfully asked him to take it off because it made her feel uncomfortable, and he totally like ignored her. And yeah, yeah that's when you know it's time to like stop that. <laughs> to every guy out there, and to every girl, to every guy, to everything in between. If your significant other tells you that it makes them feel uncomfortable that you have a picture of another person on your wall, take it down. Take, take it down. Yeah. Take it down. I feel like dating before high school isn't really the best plan. Even then, in high school, high school seems like a time when you're gonna want to be focusing on like more important things. But like how you're gonna make the monies when you're older. Yeah, or something like that. But I mean, whatever. I mean, I understand that sometimes, yeah, I mean, I, I understand that sometimes you're like, you want to be in a relationship with someone, and that's totally cool, yeah. but 
I mean, don't let it like corrupt. Look at these giant ears. Your life. I know, right? They're adorable. They're so cute. But, but don't let like the focus of your life be a relationship that young. Right. Focus on like school or video games or something. Yeah. The video games, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, if I, I guess, like, I don't know. Not at this age. Seriously, not at this age. Because I'm at this age where I'm just discovering everything about myself. I don't want to have to go and deal with someone else. Right. But, I mean, like, when I'm older, I guess if someone that I liked asked me out, I would just be like, okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> just K. Like. At this age, I really feel like it's not the smartest idea. There's also that show I Am Jazz. I don't know if you watch that, but sometimes I'll get on TLC. But sometimes I'll get on TLC and watch those dress shows. Or, but uh, Jazz is a girl who used to be a guy, so she's transgender, but she's like, has been for most of her life. I am looking this up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but it's a good show. Cause she is totally a girl. I mean, like, there's no doubt in my mind. If I just saw her and heard her talk for a while, I'd just be like, that's a girl. Oh, but she's so pretty. I know, right? And I'm like... A picture what? of Caitlyn Jenner showed up when I searched for this. <laughs> <laughs> but her hair is so glossy, too. I know, and right? I'm like, like, my hair is nowhere near that glossy. Well, no, my hair is mine isn't... not, like, her hair is as super long short as it used though. to be. My hair is super short now. It's like... She I like... have, like, a bull haircut now. It's awesome. I am awesome. Ian Hecox. I really hope that someone's not sitting there watching us because, like, seriously, we're not doing anything interesting. You can just listen you and you're just like do your own thing, honestly. We're just you just like, nothing. yeah, don't worry about it. If I'm sorry if you've been watching the video so far, but I thought we totally said a thing at like the beginning, like, hey, you can just well, put a notice. Okay, so at the beginning of this video, at we need to put in a video. notice, a notice that says, if you are easily offended, <laughs> please. If there's someone who's actually been watching the entire video, A, why did you not look at the notice? B, why did you not hear our f the first time that we said it? And C, we just explained that you're not supposed to watch this and video. C, and if you're still- uh, sorry. <laughs> and, like, if you're still watching this video, even though we've said that you don't need to, thank you. Because you're, like, because super, you're like, super, like, fan. committed. Super committed, man. <laughs> but, anyway. How long has this been? Like, it's been a while, but we have to edit out a bunch of stuff. And... That's true. Yeah. Well, no, we don't have to. Jimmy has to. Oh yeah, I don't know how to edit anything, and okay, so I have, have learned quite a few things about editing over the years. Yeah, but so, I don't have. I mean, sorry, I have... Jimmy has, and so. But, so like, um, what was I saying? I was saying something important. I swear. Something um, important. so like, usually Mav or Kai, Mav mm -hmm. Kai. Mm. Face yeah. bomb. I'm sorry. This, this is person. a new. This is a. This is a new thing for me. So like. That's cool. That's cool. But so Kai mm -hmm. is usually the one who's recording because he's uh um. I have fraps. Oh. Yeah, he has fraps, and so it's a lot better quality and all of that stuff. But um. This is gonna take but, so long to upload. We can upload it in parts if we want to. Well, my QuickTime player uploads in like three minutes, though. That's the nice thing. Well, that's because it's very low quality. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, anyway, so he usually records because he has a better mode of recording. I don't know. I got new boots. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> they have heels on them, too. I'm very excited about that. Cause like I've never had heeled boots before, but my mom was so impressed with the fact that I could walk around in my fancy high heeled shoes so easily that she's like, "Whatever, go ahead." Yes. And car noises in the background. I'm gonna close my window. Y yeah. <laughs> it's is it hot out? Um, well, this morning it was, like, colder outside than in here, so that's why the window is open. Yeah, uh, but... Yeah. Now it's not. Now it's totally not, so... At, uh, our weather here in our beautiful place is terrible. Yeah, it's... It, yeah. <laughs> if you don't like the weather here, just wait a minute. That's true, because it'll probably change. 
Yeah, it changes like every changes. 30 seconds. Like I woke up, I, I, I don't know what time, but I woke up and woke there up, was okay. only thunder. And then I woke up about 30 seconds later and it was raining and there was thunder and it was crazy. And I'm like, okay. Like, I waited away. for this, but all right, I have a new topic for us to discuss and a new world problem. Global warming. Global warming is a thing, okay, people. It is. We don't need to discuss what's what's happening. It's happening, and it's our fault. It's humans' fault. It's so yeah. <laughs> get over it, and we need to start fixing it because we have been so like. I mean, we've been so in like fixed on trying to find what the problem was when i think it's problem is right in front of our eyes it is us i mean we how hard is it to realize that dude we're kind of killing the world but yeah it's it's inevitable that someday humans are gonna have to like move out of the earth because like before the sun explodes probably because Population yeah, or the po- not population, um, but the we, whatever, whatever it is. Like we also have too many people at this point. Like that's true. Yeah, population is also a problem. Yeah, but I mean, if there's a population issue, there are people who are from nineteen kids and counting. What is wrong with you? You need to start thinking about the environment. Seriously, those people, they're just like- Yeah, like, there's a bunch of kids that need adopting. Yeah, just adopt children. But no, they're- um, gay couples are great because they adopt all the kids straight people don't want. Yeah, well, I mean, there are- Sorry, that was controversial, sorry, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Everything we've said here is controversial, so, I mean, you know. But, so, like, there are, um, some instances where, like, there would be like a lesbian couple and they'd just have a donor or something and then they'd have their own child but for most couples they're just yeah for most couples it's totally their choice and if they want to adopt a child instead of giving birth do it trust me yes do it just i I feel like i kind of feel bad though like for any woman who decides not to have children, not because she doesn't, like, miracle of childbirth, because she had to go through all of those years of periods and nothing came out of there. That's like true, I mean, yeah. Those are the worst, man. <laughs> they are terrible. Especially we're, if you're a and now we're ha- And now we're having, yeah, and now we're having a period conversation on hey, our channel. Hey. It's so sorry, both so them. sorry, any they male suck. listening to this, like, any hey, male, okay, or hey, female. Me, okay? Anybody that gets periods, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It is the worst it thing. Is the worst. I feel but, like in the seventh circle of hell, that's what everybody has to go through. Yeah, but, I mean, like, it's so Hello? stupid. Because whenever wait. I have important events or anything like that, do you know what happens? My body's like, ha, huh, I know you have three more weeks. No. 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 <laughs> but, wait, wait um, if Satan punishes sinners, why isn't he considered good? Yeah. I don't know. See, but, like, I would, since Satan is, like, evil and stuff, like, does he, like, party with the sinners or whatever? We're not having this conversation. We're not having this, this conversation weird. on this channel. Okay. No, we're very good. Con- this no. looks terrible. It does. <laughs> I'm changing that back right now. Please do. <laughs> but, um, like, I feel like it's kind of a terrible yeah. thing they have to go through. Especially, like, transgender people. Cause- exactly. Because, like, they don't have those fancy disposal things in the male bathroom. They do not. They don't have them in girls' bathrooms. What are you talking about? That's true. At my school, in every single, like, because well, we have we have pods. them at my school. We have them at my school, but, like, um... Well, we have, like, pods for each, like, grade group, because yeah, so mine we. is 5th through 8th, but in each pod and each girl's bathroom, there's, like, one disp... Well, at least in 5th grade, there's one. In 6th grade, there's, like, one or two. In 7th grade, there's 
three and in the eighth grade, every single one has one. And I'm like, me, little fifth grader, when I went in there, who's already totally in the middle of abusing his life. What? Because I'm, yeah. I, like, I don't know. I've been doing this since I was 10. I'm an expert. Seriously? Yeah. Actually, er, no. But I'm pr- I am still had mine on, like, January 1st. Oh, well, welcome to the new year. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> happy new year, we're gonna just do terrible things to your body. But, uh, it was terrible. I was very, well, I had, like, read those American Girl books, because I felt like it. Oh, yeah, I had So it, it just came, and my mom freaked out more than I did. I swear. Because I'm just like, okay, this happened. Well, this has happened. This is the thing that's happened. It's just like, are you okay? Do you need anything? Um, no, no, no. Pants? Question? (laughs) Question me. I was wearing my dad's pants, too. (laughs) Because he has these really old pajama pants, and I was really sick the day before. I'm always really sick. Like, like, I don't know, but I can always tell when anything is coming, like a really heavy one, because I'm always really sick before. And I was really sick, and I didn't feel good, and I didn't have any pajama pants, and so I just took a pair of my dad's. They're, they're still alive, don't worry. But, like, those poor pants. <laughs> I'm so glad they were black. I mean. So that brings me to our next thing. Over-sexualiz- uh, over-sexualization of either gender, but mostly females, because I think it happens more often with females. Like, not trying to be like... Dude, it does. (laughs) Dude, it does. But, um, I feel like it's really stupid. Like, even schools kind of just assume that some parts of our bodies are way over-sexualized. Like, tank tops! Because, I don't know, they're too form-fitting to your body. Yeah, we already talked about, like, the school thing, but I'm I'm talking about a general thing now. But, or, like, how... You know how there are, like, Victoria's Secret posters all over the malls with girls sitting there in underwear? Right, You yeah. don't see that okay, with guys. So, yeah, so I, I saw this comic, okay? So, um, basically, it was this woman who was, like, sitting in front of a Victoria's Secret shop or whatever. And, like, yeah. she had this baby, and she was, like, breastfeeding or whatever. And so, like, but the Victoria's Secret thing was obviously, like, you know, women in very, in just underwear and stuff. And so there were, like, these police or whatever that were like, hey, you can't do that here. We can't just have women just, like, display everything for everybody. And she's, when, like, like, they're in front of a Victoria's Secret shop. Like, Seriously? Uh... <laughs> I know, it's stupid. Like, that they're or in schools there are rules against girls wearing short shorts i guess or um i don't i don't know but there are no rules about boys wearing tank tops i'm gonna put that out there actually at my school there are but they don't really them. well but there are boys school, there's so many dress codes but they don't enforce them yeah they're, they <laughs> give us like this really long talk at like the beginning of the year like, but, hey, if you wear these shorts, we're gonna have we're gonna have to like call home and make sure you change. Everybody wears short shorts. Nobody cares. But there are boys that wear tank tops, and if a girl were to wear the same kind of tank top, then they would actually be like they'd have to sit down and have that conversation. Because yeah, I and, had some of my friends like sometimes they actually do enforce the rules, but they don't I enforce s- them on the. Guys. I saw like a video. I don't remember where it was, and it wasn't on YouTube. It was a link that one of my older friends sent me, and it was a video uh, of an experiment that a, uh, a group of six people did, and half of them were girls and half of them were boys. And they wore, um, they wore identical outfits, every one of them. So in one of them, the girl, one of the girl and one of the boy groups wore a tank top and shorts that were way too short. For the boys, everybody looked at him oddly, but no one enforced any rules with the girls. All of the rules were laid down. She got in trouble. But um, okay, another one was... On. I'm going to put on um, a sweatshirt right, right, real quick, so I'm going to have to take off my headset. Hold on. Jimmy, do something. I'm just going to... I don't... I'm going to talk to myself. But... Hello. Just you and me, YouTube. Just you and me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but um, 
So the other experiment was they wore a long sleeve shirt and a skirt. So the girl, everybody's like, okay, that's fine. The guy walks in with a skirt and everybody freaks out and he gets like totally talked to and they, he has to change his outfit, which is Seriously? also really stupid. Yeah, which is stupid because like he should be able to that wear whatever he wants. To another thing. So when you're done, I'm going to talk about this. Yeah. And the last, I think the last group, I can't remember exactly what it was, but, or no, it was, um, what was the last thing? Uh, I think it was tight jeans, like really tight jeans and a ripped shirt. The boy wore a ripped shirt that was like super low cutting. I don't know why a guy would wear a low cutting shirt and really okay, tight okay, jeans. Clothes are gender neutral. You can wear whatever you want. Anyway, yeah. Carry on. <laughs> but so he was wearing that, and he walked by one of the, like the counselors or whatever the deans, and they were totally cool with it. And then the girl walked by in the same exact outfit. Like they bought it's different sizes because I mean they're different people mm -hmm. and girls have bigger hips but she got in trouble and i'm like oh my god you people but yes that brings us to yet another topic finally we have topics to talk about finally yeah like, okay, all now that my hard drive is probably like dying anyway so um all clothes are gender so you, neutral right okay all so you can i so yes Go ahead. You hear a lot about a lot of um, trans male people, like moi, okay? And then mm -hmm. what you don't hear about many trans female people, like honestly, I don't see very many trans female people, but like, I, I've i noticed a lot, like the trans male people get a lot more support than the trans female people do. Want to know why? It's because femininity nailed it's that pronunciation is looked down on in our society and so but that, I think there that's, we go. that's like one of the reasons that they started the show I am guys because they wanted and I trans indeed. yeah like they wanted trans females to be accepted because right. there's nothing wrong with it there's but, nothing wrong because it's yeah. gender go bro like I mean, there is no such thing as an article of clothing that is specifically made for- Well, I mean, maybe the I mean, person who well, made it was like- The body shapes oh. of cis male and female people are significantly- significantly different. Word. Insert word. Different. Insert word. Significantly. <laughs> significant. Different. Okay. Like, yeah, I, I mean- today, but yeah. Every body type is different though. Like, right. even you and I have really different body types. They're like really similar compared to other people, but they're still different. Purpose. Really different. I mean, like they are of course going to be different. There is no way that we would have the exact same body type, but mm, mm. even though we have almost the same kind of body type, mine is a little bit different because we're I'm about the same height. Than I am. <laughs> but I'm ridiculously curvy for our age. Like I'm just, it's a little bit ridiculous because there will be boys that are like. 17 and they'll be like hey go away 